Hello folks, today I'm fitting new front brake pads to this Volkswagen transporter. First thing is to take the, the brake fluid reservoir cap off so that the brake fluid can rise up when you fit the new brake pads. Popping out the plastic covers, the little caps. In fact there's one missing on this, on this particular van. Removing the two caliper pins with a 7mm Allen key. These pins allow the caliper to float a little bit back and forth. Here I'm levering the old pads and the caliper piston back into the caliper to make room for the new pads when the time comes. I'm going to pop this clip off here. This is an anti-rattle clip or spring. Yep, <laughs> and they usually spring everywhere. Found it. Now I'm going to wiggle the caliper off. And I'll take the old pads out while I'm here. You can see the pad with the big spring on the back sits in the caliber piston. And here we'll have a look at one of the old pads and one of the new ones. You can see the difference in the material. Next I'm going to blow out the old brake dust. Now I'm going to put copper grease on the backs of the new brake pads on all the metal contact points between the brake pads and the caliper. And if you've watched my other videos on fitting brake pads you'll see that I always use copper grease. It cuts down on squealing and squeaking and avoids cu customers coming, coming back complaining after you've done brake pads. There are lots of brake anti-squeal products available and most of them are very high in copper content so copper grease is widely used for this purpose. With the new pads in, I'm just wiggling the caliber back into place. And I've put copper grease on the caliber pins as well, just to stop some seizing up. At this point I'm just going around to the driver's side of the van and I'm going to pump the brake pedal just to bed the 
bed the pads in onto the discs. Now watch the caliper here as I pump the brakes. That's it, you can see the pads are now closer to the disc. When you've put the brake pads on both front wheels and the wheels back on, make sure you pump the pedal again a few times before you drive away. Put the little cap back on. Like I mentioned earlier, we're missing one. And now I'm going to put the spring clip back on. These aren't too hard to put on. Once I've got the brake pads on both front wheels replaced, all I need to do now is check the brake fluid reservoir. And that's really all there is to it. If you have any questions, please post them on our forum at DIYCarGuide.com. Thanks very much for watching.